So guys, recently in a vlog, I said I wanted more of these flowers that I got for my birthday. Oh, little flowers. I just, I promise you, I want to order two more in white. Let me see if they on sale. I've been having them since October. They haven't died, shrunk nothing. Okay, forever, rose forever. I'll put the link below. What I decided to do was take these medium square boxes that I got from Amazon and some flowers that I got from Amazon also and make my own. Yeah, the Rose Forever flowers are on sale for $200 now versus $400, but this was less than 30 bucks to make. So guys, the Rose Forever box is in the middle. It's a little bit bigger. It's a 12 by 12. The boxes from Amazon are a nine by nine, but it looks perfect up there. I wanted the flowers dark purple um, because the ones I have kind of look blue sometimes. So here's what you'll need. A knife, scissors, you will need a glue gun, okay? You're gonna need the medium square boxes. I got gray. Um, You can make these with any kind of boxes. I just wanted a sturdy box. Amazon only had gray left in stock. You can get it in black if you can Google it and find it somewhere else. So I also got some dry floral foam brick. It's six in here and you're gonna need three for each one. So I'm just showing you guys how the listings look on Amazon. And I divided all of the cost of this stuff and that's how I came up with it being under $30. So 80 flowers came in here. These are the velvet-like rose flowers. Um, they're supposed to look real, but of course they're not. But they're pretty, pretty good flowers, especially being that I got 80 of them for only 15, 16 bucks. You can also get them in a Tiffany blue and a pale pink. So I had to get some wallpaper. This is the stick back kind because like I said, the boxes are gray and I want them black. Now, I was going to spray paint these boxes at first, but I thought this was way easier to do. So what you see me is taking the box out of the packaging. You do have to put this together. So I was not going to use the lid at first, but then when I went back to look at my Rose Forever box, I noticed that I had the lid under the box. So I just decided to go ahead and cover the box and the lid. So you do have to put this together, but it's very simple. You just open it and push the insert down. Like I say, you can try to find these black. You can get a brown box from Michaels and spray paint it black. You can do whatever you want to do. I just decided to use these. So I want this black, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to cut this wallpaper in half so I don't use as much. I'm going to use the top half for half of the box and the second half for the other half of the box. It is kind of hard to explain. But you guys will see that in just a second. So this is what I mean by half and half. This is stick back, so you're literally just gonna stick it on here. I'm only gonna do one half, and make sure as you put this on here, you press down so you won't have any air bubbles. So I'm doing the first half of the box. You're gonna just flip it and stick it down, and then tuck that inside, and then tuck the bottom under. And you're gonna flip and do the same thing. So now it's not gray anymore. We're gonna repeat that on the other side. It was a little short. I don't know how I measured that wrong, but I'm gonna show you guys how I patched that up and you couldn't even tell. You couldn't see a seam or anything. So now that our box is completely black, we're going to move on to the top. This is super simple. You're just going to cut out a piece, stick it down, and tuck the inside. 
you don't have to be extremely neat with this because this part is not going to show at all because it will be tucked under the box but yeah that's what you have right there right there so you're just going to sit the box off inside of there i don't know why these boxes come with tops i guess they just send them to you and i'm going to smooth that out a little bit with my hands and that's what you have a all black box so let's move on to the dry foam i think that's what it's called I'm gonna stick three pieces in here and you can center it. You don't have to do it like wall to wall. The flowers will adjust. And I'm gonna put three in here. And I'm gonna glue gun them down so they don't move and the flowers don't fall out everywhere. I'm just gonna put a strip of this glue, I'm trying to, right here. And yeah, we're gonna just push that back into the box and make sure they are all secure. So now we can move on to the flowers. We're gonna cut half of the stem in half. They are too long right now. So just take regular scissors and cut them in half. And for the nine by nine box that I'm using, you will need 25 flowers. The following step is super easy. You just straighten the stem and stick them in the foam, row by row, five by five. We're gonna put five, and the key to this is making sure that you put them close together so that you can't see in the box to the green part, to the black part at the bottom. And you can adjust them with your hands, fluff them out or do whatever you wanna do. This is super simple. And this is why I was saying you don't have to have the foam board wall to wall because you can adjust the stem to fit in and then you can play with them to make them look neat. So at this point, you're just repeating the process until you fill the entire box. So let's just finish it off. We're just putting the last two roses in here. And then like I said, you can fluff them, move them around, adjust them how you would like. Just make sure you can't see through it. And that remote was getting on my nerves. So this is your final look, super easy. It'll be way easier if you already have a black box. But I thought that it was really, really worth doing this myself to save hundreds of dollars. So if you like these type of videos, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll know when I load a new video. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.